Hello, recently I went for a trip to Wangaratta in um, regional or rural Victoria and while I was there I went to the Salvos which by the way is a, an epic op shop. I really love it. I'm, I haven't done a review on that yet but I'm going to be doing that. Um, so today I'm going to go through the things that I purchased while I was there which are probably all going to be for resale. Most of the things that I purchased are Australian pottery or glassware, really. So, let's get started. Now, one of the first things that I picked up was this, which is a mug um, by Brookfield Pottery, Everton, which I have recently done some research and found that uh, it was a, a pottery started by Robert Schulz in 1983, so these mugs could be anywhere from 1983 onward. I'm not really sure how old. They have quite an 80s style, in my opinion. So I have two of these ones, and one in blue, which is a little bit smaller, but um, same style. Get that again. There we go. My total spend at the Salvos in Wangaratta was $54. So a lot of these items I picked up for only a couple of dollars each, or um, some of them were a little more pricey and I sort of, I wasn't sure whether to go with them or not. So we'll continue going through them. Those are the mugs. Now I picked up this beautiful footed glass centerpiece bowl. Um, it is, there we go. Walther glass made in Germany. It has a gorgeous tulip design, which is really quite stunning. This is something that I've, I'll, I'm tempted to hang on to it just because I think it's really beautiful, but I think I'm going to have to part with it. <laughs> um, so I actually didn't find much information about that, that company. I need to go back to doing a bit more research about that, but I paid $9 for this. This was some, one of those pieces that was a little more pricey. And I know $9 really isn't very pricey. But I paid $9 for it, not knowing anything about the company, not knowing anything about, about these in particular. But I thought, you know, it's beautiful and just maybe it'll be okay. So I paid $9 for that and what I've seen them selling for is roughly around the $20 mark. So hopefully I'll make a bit of a profit on that one. If not, I hope it goes to somebody who really loves it because I think it's gorgeous and I'm sure there's somebody else out there who will also think that it's gorgeous. Uh, back to the Australian pottery. I bought this vase, which has an A on the bottom. And I did some, some hunting and asked some people and I believe that this is a Jean Avery piece. Jean Avery, um, I don't know if she's still working or not, but from what I can gather she was um, located in the central New South Wales coast around the Gosford sort of area. Um, and <clears throat> the pieces that I found of hers that are attributed to her have this same sort of a, a style, similar pattern. The, the other pieces weren't quite so bright and colourful. That's what I like about this one. I think it's quite pretty. Um, and I've seen pieces similar to this, Australian pottery pieces, not necessarily Jean Avery, um, go for around the five to ten dollar mark, which I didn't pay that much for it. So that should be a nice little profit. And again, I think it's something that's quite nice. So you know, maybe it will appeal to somebody out there, or maybe there's somebody internationally who 
doesn't have the access to Australian pottery that we do here in Australia. Here we come across Australian pottery pieces, particularly studio pieces, at op shops and, and those sorts of things all over the place, whereas internationally I suspect that those things are not quite so common. So maybe that's something, it's not particularly heavy, so maybe this is something that could be shipped internationally that uh, somebody may take a liking to. Anyway, moving on. Now this is something that I'm really not sure about. I picked up this glass vase, which is filthy. It's actually really grubby. I hope it's not picking that up too much on the, on the camera. Um, it needs a very, very good clean. Now, I don't know an awful lot about glass and I'm hoping that somebody out there is going to be able to help me. This, to my knowledge, must be blown. It doesn't have any um, any marks marks for m the mold. There's no seams. There's nothing through there. I'm not sure that it's particularly high quality. I don't know. It's hard to tell, seeing as it's so filthy. It doesn't have a symmetrical pattern at all. It's very asymmetric. Um, you know, it's got these these indented bits that are here. Some of them are, are long and then some are shorter. And so I don't know, but I was looking up on how to tell if glass is hand blown or whether it's been machine blown or not. And I was really having trouble working that out. The base of it is Flat. I don't think it's picking that up. There we go. The base is flat and filthy. It's got some scratchings on there, but it doesn't have a swirl pattern, which I believe I was supposed to be looking out for. Um, and I can't see a clipped space on the edge. Um, there are some bubbles in the pattern, but I think that's probably something that can be either blown, hand blown or manufactured and even also in moulded glass. So hopefully someone out there is going to be able to help me. If you know some information about this, could you please pass it on to me? I mean, if this is something that's been hand blown by someone special, I've seen French um, hand blown glass vases similar to this in clear glass, sell or at least listed i don't know that any of them have sold but for 395 us dollars which is a lot of money i suspect that this is not it doesn't seem like it, the quality is there so this could be only worth five or maybe ten dollars so if you know some information please do let me know and um, i'm I'm always wanting to learn and I want to learn new things and find out whether, you know, so when I'm going out and about, I can look at things and determine whether it's something that's worthwhile buying or not. Now, I think I paid two or three dollars for this. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to make some sort of profit on this, even if it's only that I sell it for five dollars and make two dollars profit. Um, but I still think it's nice. It's it's got an interesting shape to it, an interesting pattern. Anyway, help me, please. <laughs> now this is another item that I wasn't really sure what to do with. I think that this is a handmade item, the sort of thing that you'd find on Etsy. The ring size is adjustable, which is, I think, which I think is very good for uh, purchasing items online. It looks very handmade to me. And I think it's pretty quirky. I think it's quite groovy. Um, it's not something that I would wear, but I, I appreciate it and I quite like it. And I'm hoping that maybe this will sell for maybe five to two. Five to fifteen dollars, somewhere in that sort of range. I'm hoping more around the ten to fifteen range, but it's kind of cool. This is something that intrigued me. 
this vase is a it's a ceramic vase I looked at it and I thought wow look at those colors that's incredible and I still think it's quite incredible and then I looked closer at it and I noticed that it had like weave marks like fabric and I couldn't quite understand and then I looked at the top and the bottom and I could see where the fabric was joined on so it looks like it's um, something that someone's taken the vase and then wrapped in fabric and then used a like used a glue to glue it down and used a resin to cover it all um, and this is probably nothing special it's probably not worth anything or not worth much I didn't pay much for it either um, but I was really intrigued by this and I thought what a fantastic idea I don't know how old it is I know that um, things similar to this were done in the 1940s um, in, during the depression when people couldn't get hold of of things and they wanted to find ways of decorating and so they were resourceful and they they created things it's even in um, in clothing like hats were made out of just about anything whatever you could find lying around just to add a bit of splash and color to things so I wonder whether this is something that's that old or whether it's something that's much more modern anyway I think it's cool maybe someone else out there will think it is cool too I mean the colors are spectacular and it's quite seamless I didn't realize that it was fabric to begin with I mean there is a seam through here which obviously there has to be one somewhere but it's not particularly noticeable and if you face it the other way you can't see it at all anyway so that mic I, I couldn't find anything that was even similar to that I think because of the the quite spectacular colors it might sell for five ten maybe fifteen dollars I can hope continuing on with the glassware and this was something that I wasn't really sure about these glasses I bought a set of six I bought a set of six of these and it was because it was a set of six that I bought them I thought let's take a take a punt on them and just give it a go see what happens they've got some sections that are frosted through here but then it's clear glass at the top and clear glass at the bottom the frosting is being applied which I'm assuming that in any case frosting has to be applied in some way this is applied on the on the inside here and underneath on the base there I think they're pretty cool and I looked up I looked them up online on eBay and just a general Google search and I couldn't find any that are the same but I found some that were similar quite a few that were similar style and they were selling for uh, up to $40 um, for a set of, um, of four so a set of six would be a little bit more than that I would be happy if I got $20 for the set uh, of course no guarantees that that's going to happen but I'm sure that I'm going to make my money back on these I think they're lovely I would use those <laughs> now these pink glasses I bought five of them I think yes I bought five of these they have a lovely etched pattern in them With flowers unfortunate it's unfortunate that it's a set of, of five and not of six I mean an even number would have been great they're a little bit thin so I'm not sure just how old they are I suspect that they're actually fairly old I think these are maybe like depression era I couldn't find any exactly the same as these 
but I did find quite a lot that is similar to this and they're selling for five to ten dollars each glass so I have five of these so these could be anywhere between twenty five and fifty dollars and I think they're quite lovely I'm not sure that it's picking up the pink color it's probably clashing with the pink of my top <laughs> but, um, yeah they're quite nice they're a small size but they're not not unusable small they're lovely now these I was surprised with I looked at these and I thought it's got Ramson crystal made in England each of them has a sticker I bought seven of them I believe and I paid ten dollars for the set of seven I thought, you know what, that's Ramson crystal made in England, it's got to be something. But they don't sound very crystal-like. They, they have a cut or a pressed design, which it's, it doesn't feel very cut-esque because there's no sharp edges. And I looked at these and I thought, what are they? And I thought maybe they're a salt cellar. And I couldn't quite understand why it would have a chicken head on them. So I did some research online, and the only reference that I could find to Ramson Crystal was somebody who had these, exactly these, who was asking, What are they? And who is this Ramson Crystal? I still can't find anything about Rams and Crystal, and neither could they, because years later, somebody popped up back on that same feed, asking if they had found out anything about them, and they hadn't. But it turns out that, well, their opinion was that these were an egg cup, which, that makes sense. It definitely makes sense for it to be an egg cup with the chicken head. Much more sense than a salt cellar, although I think a salt cellar would work perfectly. I don't see why they couldn't be used as a salt cellar. But I think this may have been a pay to learn experience. I haven't seen them sell anywhere. And this Ramson crystal, I can't find any references to them anywhere. So $10 for seven of them, I don't know if I'm going to make my money back but it was a good learning experience that just because it says crystal on them doesn't mean that they are and doesn't mean that they're anything special. I don't even know if this brand exists. So perhaps I'll make my money back on these. $10 is not an unreasonable amount to ask for um, for a set of seven of these, especially seeing as you could use them as a salt cellar or you could use them as an egg cup. And salt cellars are quite popular at the moment. So I'm hoping that I'll make my money back on these. Now the last item that I bought were these. I bought a set of six of these. They are crystal. Um, I would say they're probably a cordial glass. They're quite small. Um, maybe sherry possibly a sherry glass. If you know the answer to that, please um, do tune in and let me know. Again, the same thing as with the, the Ramson Crystal egg cups. It doesn't feel like it's got sharp edges, so I don't know that it's cut glass. It's quite possibly pressed crystal, crystal glass. Um, I thought that these were quite nice and I still do. I think they're lovely. I would never use them. I don't drink, so I probably have no use for them. I don't drink liqueurs. I don't drink any alcohol. I'm quite boring, actually. But um, I think these are lovely, and I've seen lots of examples of these, not specifically these. I couldn't, I haven't yet. I will do some more research, but I haven't yet found any exactly the same as this, and it seems that if you can attribute them to a specific manufacturer, then the price goes up. Um, but ones similar to this, I found selling 
for five dollars plus per glass so I bought six of these so we're looking at thirty plus dollars which is fantastic I mean that's most of what I spent on the entire lot in one item well in six items anyway so that's all of the things that I bought at um, at the Selvos in Wangaratta but I have one more thing to show you The other day at work, I had to go and empty the bins, and I, as I was tipping the bin out, I heard this ding noise, and I thought, I know what that is. Surely it's not. Sure enough, I looked down, and I found a rotary phone that the boss had just chucked in the bin. Unfortunately, it's missing its face dial. Um, or not dial, face, face plate, uh, but it's the green colour and it's intact, thankfully, it almost wasn't and on the bottom it has written that it was tested on the 22nd of September 1980. This would have been used in his house for quite a while. And unfortunately, it has got a few paint flecks on it, which you can see probably just here. Oh, maybe you can't see that. There we go. There's, there are some paint flecks and a few scuff marks and things. But I haven't seen these sell for anything less than $40. So he gave this to me for free. I asked him, you know, do you really want to get rid of this? And he said, yeah, I don't want it. That's why it's in the bin. And I said, well, you know they're worth money, right? And he was like, no, they're not. And I said, yeah, they are. <laughs> and so he said, you can take it and you can sell it and call it a bonus. <laughs> so that's a nice little bonus for me. Anyway, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, um, hit like. Hit the subscribe button. I'll come out come out with some new content regularly, and um, I hope you're all well and safe. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye now.